today's video where I'm going to be talking all about bridal showers. So a couple of months back I did a wedding series where I just did a ton of wedding related DIYs and tips and tricks for wedding planning and if you guys missed any of those I will definitely link them down below so make sure you go ahead and check them out. But what I did was ask if you guys had any other wedding related video requests and someone suggested how to throw a bridal shower which I thought was a really good idea because I have done that before and it can be a really daunting task to plan an entire party by yourself. And with Pinterest, it is so easy to get carried away because there are just so many ideas out there and everything looks really cute. But what I found is it's really best to keep it as simple as possible and stick with just a few key ideas. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. And it's really easy and it's really easy on your budget, which I think is probably one of the most important things besides that everyone has fun. So here's what I've come up with. Fresh flowers are a really great way to add color to a party and it's kind of a no-brainer for a bridal shower. It looks really nice to have fresh flowers on the table. So what I actually like to do is get a bunch of lemons and I slice them up and I discard the end pieces. And then what I do is I take a glass and put it inside whatever vase or pitcher I'm using for my flowers. Then I'm actually going to fill the space in between the glass and the vase with my lemon slices. So I just stack them up inside and I don't really pay attention to where I'm dropping them, wherever they fall. I just try to make sure I'm covering up all the little spaces in between each slice because what it's going to actually do is hide the stems. So then I just fill up the middle glass with some water and then I take some more water and I fill up the area where I have the lemons. Just make sure that you don't fill it too far so that the water doesn't go over the rim of the glass inside. Then I just take my flowers and add them inside and it creates this really beautiful vibrant centerpiece. Coming up with a favor that all the guests are going to like can be really difficult. So what I did was pick up some seed packets of all different types of herbs and then I just grabbed some brown craft paper that I already had and I wrapped the seed packets up right inside like a present. So I folded the corners in at the bottom and the top and just folded them up to meet each other. And then I grabbed a piece of masking tape just to keep it very simple and taped that down. Then I took some letter stamps and some black ink and just labeled them with whatever herb seed was inside. So I picked up a whole bunch. I had thyme, basil, lavender, rosemary, and I just thought this was a really fun way to dress them up instead of just having seed packets on the table. So to finish it off, I took some twine and I laid my seed packet on top and then just twisted the twine around, flipped it over and tied a double knot on the other side. And the last touch was to pick up some fresh herbs and I just tucked a little sprig of each one inside the twine and I think it just looks really cute. You can lay them out on the table and then the guests can choose whichever one they want to take home and grow. I feel like you can't really go wrong with lemonade, it's usually a pretty big crowd pleaser, but I decided to give it a little twist and make some lavender lemonade. So I just added 3 cups of sugar to a saucepan as well as 3 cups of water. Then I set the heat on medium high so that it would get boiling, and while it was heating up I made sure to continuously stir it so that the sugar would melt and dissolve into the water. Once the water was boiling, I added a quarter cup of dried lavender and just make sure that you are using culinary lavender because they do sell floral dried lavender which has chemicals in it so just make sure that it's for culinary use. Give it a quick stir and then remove it from the heat and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Once it's been sitting for 10 minutes, you can take it and just strain out the lavender so that you have your mixture underneath and you can toss the dried lavender. Pour that into a pitcher as well as four cups of fresh squeezed lemon juice and then it makes this really beautiful light purple lemonade that you can garnish with whatever you want. I used fresh rosemary. Of course every shower needs some delicious treats and I think that the idea of fruit spring rolls is just so much fun. So I got a bunch of my favorite fruits. I got some kiwi and some apples and some strawberries and I just sliced them up small enough that I could roll them up inside my spring rolls. And you can find spring rolls at specialty grocery stores and sometimes even your regular grocery store will have them. So you just wanna take one and dip it into some warm water and push the edges down so that they don't roll up. Wait about five seconds and then pull it out when it starts to soften. 
lay it down on your surface and then grab your fruit and start to lay it out across the middle center part of your wrap. Make sure that you don't fill it up too far so that you can still roll it up without breaking it. Then all you have to do is fold in the top and each of the sides and then just keep rolling it back. And these are so pretty, you can see the really bright fruit underneath and you can also serve it with chocolate sauce which is really delicious. And now for probably the easiest activity that you can put together, I came up with 10 questions about the bride and then I just printed it out on cardstock two to a page, cut it in half and took some washi tape and just decorated it across the top. And everyone has so much fun with this, it's a really good icebreaker game, it gets people talking and you can give out prizes for whoever gets the most questions right and it's so much fun. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope some of you found this helpful and just as a side note, a lot of these ideas can also be used for just summer entertaining in general. So if you're throwing a summer party, feel free to try any of these out, I think they would look really nice. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you have any requests, especially wedding related ones, leave them down below because I'll keep doing these videos randomly if you guys keep requesting them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next week. Bye!